everyone, this is Farah K, Marketing Manager at WinPure. So today's video is based on true events. Last week, we were working with a client who came to us with a simple problem. They had duplicate data in their CRM contact list and they wanted to use our solution to just clean up and remove these duplicates. When our data specialist imported their data into our platform, we discovered that out of 70,000 records, the company just had 32,000 accurate records to work with. The rest of the data was incomplete, duplicated, unusable. Sounds terrible, doesn't it? You believe that you have 70,000 records to work with, but in reality, you just have 32. So the client went back to the marketing and sales team and they denied the report. Everything was chaotic. The client couldn't believe that this was such a huge discrepancy and they just had to take the time to do a deep dive and find out what went wrong. Inflated marketing data is a real problem. Now, there's no deliberate foul play to this. Usually it happens because companies do not have data quality parameters set at the data entry or the data collection point. So for example, I have five email addresses. I could use any of my five or all five email addresses to register for uh, a demo, a webinar, a trial, uh, a, a lead form with the same company. Now you would think that you have five new customers, but in reality, it's just one customer. Now, if you had some parameters at your data collection point, for example, you have some mandatory uh, option, uh, say you just need work emails or you need an actual phone number. If you had these parameters at your collection point, the chances of such duplicate entries would be reduced. All of these problems happen on a daily basis in marketing and sales teams, but no one talks about it. So please, if you have inflated numbers in your records, do not shy away from it use a solution, hire someone, do something to make sure that these numbers are accurate. In the next slide, I'm going to try to show you how we, what features actually we used to show the client um, the reality of their data. So very quickly, I'll give you an overview of the WinPure data cleaning metrics. If you take a look at here, there are three windows. And the first window is uh, an overview of your data. Whatever treatment you do in your data will be reflected here. The second window is what we call the data profiling window, which is very important. It gives you an overview of the problems affecting your data. So as you can see here, you've got potentially high data quality issues and potential medium data quality issues, meaning problems like trailing spaces, commas, dots, leading spaces, all of these are high data quality issues that impact the consistency of your data. If you scroll ahead, you can see that other issues such as punctuation or casing problems are also reflected in this profiling window. So whenever you want to treat the data, all you need to do is select an option here. As soon as you select this, if you go to the third window, you'll see that it's highlighted here. So let's just say I want to remove spaces in the window. I'll try to solve the uh, high quality issue problems first. I'll click on apostrophe. Whichever company name has apostrophes will now be removed. So you'll see that as soon as I do this, the treated data is visible here. So it was with this profiling window and statistics that our client was able to discover that they just had 32,000 working data. I hope that was helpful and enabled you to take a new look at your CRM and marketing or sales data to ensure its accuracy, reliability and usability. Please follow us on YouTube for more such videos. Follow us on LinkedIn if you'd like to talk to us and do visit our website for details. Until then, see you. Bye-bye.